Hello to Erzeshim Sanger. As I promised, this is another episode from the hangar where I concentrate on testing the Black Pearl monitor against the Immersion RC Duo 58 with different antennas, different conditions to see which which one works better. Lots of different antennas. These are the one from Security Camera 2000. Uh, it says three lobe and four lobe. Uh, it's clover leaf and skew planner wheel. Then uh, the ones I use ever since now are the circular wireless 58 Bose being skew planner wheel. Next to it the circular wireless H turn helical. And here is the Black Pearl with two standard rubber duckies, just for comparison. The Immersion RC power meter. And here on a little tripod uh, 5.8 Immersion RC with a Spironet. And this is the Immersion RC Duo 5.8 diversity receiver with a patch and a skew planner wheel screwed onto it. So let's see how it performs. I did test all the antennas with the yeah, IRC power meter with one and a half meter distance and I also compared it in different situations uh, vertical and horizontal orientation and this was my test video transmitter. Uh, I'll post a pic of the results later. Here is the rubber duckies, the skew planner wheel, the circular wireless, helical, the patch, and the spironets. Basically, oh, I knew the results before the test that the normal, normal rubber duckies would be not so good if the orientation is wrong. But besides from the numbers, let's see how the two diversity receivers work side to side. So this is to test which of these diversity receivers has better uh, signal, which has the better sensitivity. Uh, I have here the Immersion RC Duo 5.8 version 3 with two video outs, ground station link, channel and with the power plug and here on the tripod I have the Black Pearl monitor, 7 inch monitor with a diversity receiver integrated. It's also powered from a 3 cell LiPo um, and here I have the audio cable plugged into the Immersion RC, so I can switch between these both receivers. At the moment, this is the image I get with no antennas uh, from right over there behind three thick walls where I have an Immersion RC video transmitter with a standard rubber ducky like this here because you shouldn't turn them on without an antenna. So here you see the image quality, which is... Uh, it, it would be okay, but it's not, not really nice. If you block both, you get static. If you block one, you force the other LED to light up. You see, uh, I'm blocking too much, maybe. So. Of course, if I screw on an antenna here, the picture gets better and of course he always takes this input. That's quite a good picture for 5.8 and through a few thick ones. Switch over to the audio video in. And audio video in means this receiver here is used and I try to hold it on the rubber so I don't 
do something bad. Uh, it should be about the same now. Holding in it. And I would say it's a comparable picture. It's not better. Maybe it has a few more pixels of noise. The LED RX1, of course. And you see a decent good image. Provoke some bad situations here. So let's compare it once more with the built in receiver here. Switch modes. I have to. I should let it run side by side because now I think with the antenna the image here is not as good as with the immersion RC, but yeah, you would have to see. So I just got another idea. Try to see what the integrated next wave FetchArc module can do. So that may not this super scientific comparison. Yeah. That looks really clear by the way. Absolutely no static. So yeah. So the fat shark receiver is better, in my opinion, than the Black Pearl integrated. Yeah, take a look at it. So now I have the Immersion RC skew planner wheel and the patch on the Black Pearl. And I show you a little tour. Here's the office. One, two, three, some iron. And here is the antenna. And I'm powering it with 12.23 volts constantly. So here's the power source, it's 12 volt. Powering the immersion RC up here with the skew planner wheel. And here we are on the receiver side. Of course, he picks the patch if it's turned this way. And the signal, this, this time the signal is really good. Get some color distortion, but no real noise. Now if I turn it, yeah, you see, now it's maybe turned, uh, I'd say 30 degree, because I know the 30 degree angle, um, 30 degree, and if you turn it further, he starts to switch between patch and skew planner wheel, because at this moment the SPV wins. And the patch doesn't win back but here. As soon as the reception and all cone from the patch is okay, you always get the patch. And it's around this. The camera is looking now directly to the GoPro. You see the, the cone? Yeah. That's about where he starts to decide if he switches to the SPV. So you get an idea of the range of the of the patch here. It's from like this to this. Nice quality. So next we switch to the the Duo 58 with the optimal configuration with the patch and the skew plan wheel. It's heading over there where the sender is and it has an audio cable plugged in here and gives optimal image quality if you ask me and if I turn it 
you hear the beeps the beeps indicate switching of antennas yeah here also you see the LED corresponding to the antenna and about the same situation you see the antenna if it's uh, about the same with this angle it uses the patch here it starts to use the skew planner wheel all the way to patch and it will yeah so you see this is the receptional cone about this that's not super much but it's okay if you go out far the cone gets bigger so I'm quite happy with this which one do I like better? Hmm. this one is convenient because it has the monitor and the diversity receiver built in and it performs quite well with the sunshade on it's a really good usable solution and yeah, this one performs slightly better with antennas on I'd say so yeah if you don't have the monitor and the immersion RC and you don't plan on using a TV screen LCD screen go with the immersion RC I'd say if you want to save and fly just over the monitor get the black pearl you can get it really cheap around 200 euros I think it's not really cheap but if you consider that it has a diversity receiver built in it's, it's an, a nice price so thanks for watching bye